Kelly, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm gonna be actually back this week with another video. I took last week off because I had a lot going on with this consignment sale thing I was doing. Um, but anyways, I need to work on some spring cleaning. And now that I'm done with the consignment sale I did last week, my loft is freed up of space. <laughs> um, I had so much stuff going on up here. Um, and then now my kids have come in here and played a little bit and so it's just gotten to be very messy. So we're gonna do that today. Maybe some other cleaning. Um, I'm trying to get around to deep cleaning all the bathrooms in our house. We'll see how far I get with that. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know, some other stuff along the way probably as well too. Um, but thanks for joining me. Uh, let me show you what we're working with. Okay, so this, we're plant sitting right now, um, but this is what our loft is currently looking like. It is an absolute mess. <laughs> I mean, I've seen worse, but it has not been this bad in a really long time. We don't use our loft that much, so this is actually pretty bad considering we actually don't come in here that much, but... The blind is still sitting on the floor from when I hung that a month ago. So, you know. Um, but we've got toys and stuff hidden in here. This plant that I'm desperately <laughs> trying to bring back to life. It has actually gotten better. I don't know. It was like dying for like weeks. And then now it's only 2% better probably. Um... But I gotta, I just gotta reorganize. And then I also want to hang this. We finally got this, or what? <laughs> what? We got this a long time ago, we never hung it. I finally went out into the garage and scrounged around and found a nail. So I'm gonna try and hang that um, today too. So let's get started. All right, cleaning up this loft was um, I don't know why I thought it was going to be so hard. It was very easy. It's just tedious having to put all those darn puzzles <laughs> back together. Um, obviously they're quite easy, but as you can see, like that number one, there's numbers and shapes and there's so many pieces. And uh, also it used to have pegs in it that had, um, little circle discs that went on there too for like one for one all the way up to 10 like each one had the matching like number and we took those off because I was like I'm not doing this <laughs> and also when we got it it was a bit the pieces were a bit too small for the age of our kids so we were like well let's take these real small pieces off but anyways as you can see we're missing like 50% of the pieces I know they'll turn up um my boys predominantly my oldest likes to take off those little tiny puzzle pieces and treat them like, um, like rocks in his dump trucks. <laughs> and so he piles them up in his dump trucks and whatever. And so they get all over the place and all the pieces always end up turning up, but it is stressful for me when they don't, because <laughs> I just, I don't know. I want to know where all the pieces are. I try my best to always keep all the toys, like all the pieces with all the matching toys you know everything goes together and partly so that I can donate items when we're no longer using them so that someone else can enjoy them as well as you know not having to throw stuff in the trash because you know it's missing half the pieces I want to be able to keep everything with a long life but anyway I pulled those two play-doh out because I was putting them in the boys Easter basket I bought that play-doh pack around um christmas time walmart had it on sale it was originally like 25 dollars or something like that or so they say and i got it for like five bucks and so i've been slowly incorporating it into different things um i think i maybe put actually i don't even think i ended up using it for christmas but i put a couple in their little gift bags that i made them for valentine's day and then i put one in each of their baskets and then i still have four more so you know, I'll probably just gradually work them into different things. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of a good buy. But 
Also, this picture we've had for probably more than a year, and we're f I finally hung it, which feels good. Um, I know it's off-center from that cabinet, but with the plant there, I didn't want it to be perfectly center because I felt like the plant being on the side made it feel, like, off. So I was trying to balance it visually, but now I don't know if that was the right choice. But I'm not going to change it, so it is what it is. Um, but, yeah, and also, realistically, I moved most of this stuff just to the hallway, and I still have to put it all where it goes. So we had some, like, light, like, UV lights for growing plants and stuff. We had those in there, still sitting in the hallway, the slide in the hallway. Like, everything that was supposed to go to the basement or just somewhere else in the house, still in the hallway. <laughs> so, the loft looks okay, but the hallway looks like garbage. So, you know, <laughs> you win some, you lose some, I guess. Um, this plant I specifically let die. It's so cool. I mean, it's a cool one. It looks really cool, and, and it grows real long, and that's cool, but... Those, like, grass blades are razor sharp. And I cut getting, like, you know, paper cuts, essentially, like, grass cuts from it. And when I tried to water it, and it stressed me out so much having to water it. And so I decided that I don't need that stress in my life. So I just let it die. And once it's dried out, they're not nearly as sharp. Um, All right. So that was kind of another thing that so has been weighing on me. Oh. Who's wanting to take that out and throw it away? I have to pick up this bag and this, and this other, bag, but uh, otherwise, it's um, pretty good. I desperately but, need to dust. Yeah. I have a different plant downstairs that I'm going to put in there. Um, oh, Jesus, this looks like a mess. You know, you don't even know. I guess we'll just do that. Um, I'm going to go get the vacuum in vacuum real quick. I don't know that I'll get around to dusting, but at least it's picked up. <laughs> need to dust <laughs> as you can tell um but I'm really glad I got that hung up so that was nice this hadn't been vacuumed in a long time which isn't that big of a deal because like I said we're rarely up here our dog doesn't really ever come in here um and aside from me spilling that dirt there it's not really a big deal um but probably I'm gonna water that plant in this one I had given it a ton of water to pr try to bring it back to life and it feels pretty dry again. So, water this. Um, probably water that one. But, uh, we'll see. Oh, and then I also need to, oh, geez, I just fell. I also need to clean the window sills because they're a bit buggy. Um, but otherwise, this is only like a 20 minute job. So not bad. I kind of felt like that was going to be a bigger job than it was. So um, I'm glad it wasn't that big of a deal. There's still probably stuff I could do as far as decluttering and whatnot, but meh. Okay, this is the plant I need to repot into this because it's, I don't know, it's probably risky to go from this small of a pot into that big of a pot but <laughs> this one's wildly overgrown i can't even believe it got that big in this tiny pot um so yeah we're gonna put this in here and hopefully not break too many pieces off as i've already broken this and another one off so whoopsies all right let's give it a go this plant, I was so happy that it went so smoothly moving it into that pot. And so far it's been doing pretty good, but I don't know what your experience is with plants, but sometimes you repot them and the first like two days or so they look okay. 
And then all of a sudden they go through that kind of like shock phase where you're like, is it going to die? Because it looks like it's going to die. And then it just kind of like regroups and comes back and is, you know, thrives after that. I'm hoping we just don't go through that kind of shock phase of, is it going to (laughs) die? Um... Shockingly, it wasn't root bound in there. I thought for sure with all of these stems and how long they've gotten, I thought, oh, there's got to be roots everywhere. There really wasn't. Um, so that was kind of interesting, which also makes me worried that I put it in too big of a pot, like it went from too small to too big, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, here I was just showing that I, I was filling the Easter eggs for my kids and... Uh, I thought this was going to be a great idea, getting all these stickers. I mean, I guess ultimately it was, but I just got a couple packs of stickers from Walmart. Oh, sorry. That was a big yawn. I am so sorry. I got a couple packs of stickers from Walmart for like a dollar each. I don't know. They were super cheap. And I was like, oh, I'll just cut them out and then we'll put those in the eggs because one, it's inexpensive, and two, we don't give our kids a lot of candy, um, and so, like, I'm not gonna fill all of them with candy. Also, that's expensive. Candy's, like, way, t- way too much money. So, we did just a couple that had some Hershey's Kisses, and then the rest had, um, these stickers, and man, my kids love stickers, so I think it was good, but it was just so tedious. This actually took probably 15 minutes, and it's boring to even watch the sped up version, but <laughs> here are all the stickers. We did monster trucks, fish, um, dinosaurs, and like little food items. They're so cute, and the boys, you know, they really liked them. Um, and now I'm just hoping I don't find stickers on my walls or something. Because that's really going to not be fun for me to get off if they do that. <laughs> Which, they don't usually have stickers, um when they're alone (laughs) or you know not being watched someone is always with them if they have stickers but you you never know kids are sneaky sneaky little bears um so yeah here I was filling the eggs we had like 61 eggs I think um so I mean that's kind of a lot it didn't look like that many in that huge tub that I had but it was kind of a lot. It was, you know, it was perfect for, um, two kids. <laughs> uh, so it was fine. It was good. The boys really liked it, and, um, I'm just glad that I can eat the rest of the candy that I didn't put in the eggs, because, you know, who doesn't love that? <laughs> um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I am planning to come out with some more spring cleaning videos. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Thanks so much. Hey. Okay, okay, hold this. You hold it. Good boy. There's another egg. Remy. No. Wow.